racers. Absolutely outstanding. We joined her today for the last ride. I think it might not be the last ride, Hayley. So, no, it's just the beginning, honey. She's told me how much she's loved. Love, we're, we're going through a narrow path, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, she's told me how much she's loved cycling um, and how it's been really different every day and how it's been amazing to be joined by her friends and her spirit community members. So we just can't wait to see what she's going to do next. Get on your bike, ladies! <laughs> so it's Thursday and we're doing uh, one of our Lakes to London training rides, aren't we, Mel? We're very excited because we actually had a last minute opportunity to join the, um, the Tour of Britain uh, sort of participants ride, if you like. It's the first time they've done it um, and we're going to get to ride part of the route and then roll over the finish line uh, in a couple of hours. So I think the ride's about 60k. We're going to be travelling about 35k of the Tour of Britain route. So we will go through the finish, obviously, way before uh, the guys kind of clatter across the line. So, yeah, this is going to be fun. Look who we found today at the Tour of Britain, the lovely Michelle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did that so brilliantly. Did I? Oh my god. Yeah. This is her silly pose. Yeah, it is, isn't it? This is her cool. This is her cool cat pose. <laughs> this is a very fast ride out. So I've just met the lovely Keith, just chatting about all things cycling. Uh, and raising charity funds. So one of the benefits about coming and riding with others, getting to know different people. Well, so I think we've been going about 25 miles an hour, haven't we, Mel? Sure, yeah. <laughs> this is not uh, a leisurely ride, I wouldn't say. Hang on tight, go scream if you want to go faster. Oh, we're definitely screaming today. We're definitely going very fast. So we've done about 20, 25 miles. We've just got ourselves to the stop. Uh, it's been fast, so I think we might need to fuel up a little bit, have a little lady pee stop, uh, and then uh, get back on the road. But it's been fun so far. So don't tell anyone, but I'm in the woods, in Clumber Park, North Ossingshire, and I'm having a pee. So I found the ladies. It's next to the second oak tree on the right. So if you ever come here, then that's the one to go. Going through Clumber Park. And just on the right there, um, we, we found Katie Cookaburra. So if any of you have seen uh, Katie's YouTube channel, um, then you'll know who she is. If you haven't, check her out. Loads of stuff about cycling, uh, cycle adventures. Um, so really worth a watch. I've watched quite a number of her videos already uh, and love them, so it's pretty cool finally meet up after chatting to a few times on, uh, on Instagram. We've made it to the end of our incredibly fast ride with Dan Martin, pro rider, Michelle Sheldon, the spirit cycling coach. Here we are. Cheer for them and a big bang of the boards. Joining Dan today, we have got the YouTuber Katie Kukavara. Millions of followers on YouTube, and we've also got Wayne Bond, one of the directors of Manchester United Football Club. Let's have a big cheer for Simon. Oh. We'll find out from Dan what the last 50k has got in store for our riders today. Thank you, Michelle. For inviting us on this amazing ride. Look at this rock star ride leader for Tour of Britain. Right, words I never thought I would say on Saturday morning. We're off to Park Run. Yes, it's called Running on Saturdays, not Swimming on Saturdays. Whoop, whoop. Very, very uh, excited, uh, as you can see um, by my kind of dulcet tones, but. It's I'm all excited. part of Lakes to London and trying to put myself into a space of running heaven rather than run <laughs> hell. So I'll let you know whether or not it was heaven or hell. As you can see, I'm practicing um, using, this is what I'm going to use for the London Marathon. I wouldn't normally run uh, with a backpack for something like that, but because we have been uh, on the move for about two days by this point, I'm now practicing how to get carbohydrates into me when I'm guessing probably won't want to eat. <laughs> Have a good one. So we made it to Park Run and look who we found. A whole group of lovely Hesperitas. Hello ladies. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Anyone up for a run? Mm. 
going. Yes. We are going and celebrating Mel's first pad run. <laughs> Well, that's part run for some of you ladies. How exciting. <laughs> the whole Her Spirit Posse in the rain, having fun, running together at Park Run. What more do you want to do on a Saturday morning other than eat pancakes and coffee, maybe? <sighs> Trying to stay hot on the heels of Eva. She's doing a good job of trying to drop me. <laughs> We're nearly at the finish. The last bit. Eva is setting the pace. And I tell you what, she's quick. <laughs> Making work today. Honey, it's going off and I can assure you. <laughs> no, thanks, Eva. I'll see you at the finish. <laughs> How was it, Mel? Good. The wonderful Rachel. Yay! Team it's effort. one of my oldest friends. Yeah. We ran all the way round. We Brilliant. chatted, and before you know it, she You're said sprint finish. And then uh, I was like, right, Donna Fraser, here you go. <laughs> and, ha and how did it feel? Oh, all right, actually. Good. I'm not sure about tomorrow, but <laughs> I think she's got more in it because she talked all the way around. Yeah, yeah. Come on, lazy. Stop talking. <laughs> so I basically found Rachel at mile 13, and I had a good time. <laughs> here we go, Park Run. So that's Saturday Run Club done, Mel. How was it? It was all right, actually. So cumulatively seven miles and a big shout out to Rachel Fletcher. Rachel's been a friend of mine for probably three decades now, which is slightly um, scary, but I ran three miles, which is something that I haven't done for at least a year. So massive thank you to the Her Spirit community who got me out of bed, gave me a little kind of push and uh, I had a big Sue hug at the end of it. Yeah, a good boost for the confidence, right? Having done a walk run strategy and then a whole three miles of running. So all on track for the marathon only. Seven, 14, 21. And a bit and a more. Bit. <laughs>